to explore, and today we're here at Bretton Woods. I'm talking to Steve Nikapur, and as you've noticed, we're in front of an indoor climbing wall. More on that later. But first, Steve, let's talk about what Bretton Woods is best known for, which is skiing. Yep. And, and snowboarding. The, and the snow. <laughs> and the snow. Yeah. Exactly. And Number one in snow for several years now in the east. Yeah. By ski reader, ski magazine readers. I've heard so you guys great. have a, uh, you actually have a few really great awards. That Absolutely. I've heard of. Well, so, the, number one in New Hampshire. Number one overall for yes. ski areas in New Hampshire, and number one in the east for snow. Oh wow! It's awesome. So this is where you want to go if you're skiing and snowboarding. Clearly. Exactly. <laughs> Between the great snowmaking that we have early season, the great grooming, and then the natural snow that we tend to get more of than a lot of places. The, the notch effect. Yeah, <laughs> plus we don't get as much wind up here, so okay. the snow often stays nice longer than it does other ah, places. All right. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the terrain that people can expect at Bretton Woods. Well, the best thing here is there's a huge variety. So people know us for a lot of great beginner terrain, and we certainly yes. have tons of that. Great groomers that you know most people can be comfortable on. Okay. But we also have a lot of glades. We have a ton right. of glades, um, and they're nice wide open glades. So everything from what I'd call a beginner glade, maybe beginners shouldn't jump in there, but <laughs> easier glades if you want to just try it out, yeah. um, up to more challenging ones. And then we have lots of steeper sections as well. So you can get a huge variety, keep everyone happy from the family, from you know the, the beginner right through the expert. Yeah. And then you guys are associated with the Mount Washington Hotel, correct? Yep, we are all part of the Omni Mount Washington Resort. Okay. So, you know, one, one big team here, and we have great lodging over there, great recreation over here, rock climbing, yep. guided adventures. Yep. Tons of stuff going on. Awesome. Yeah. All right, so I personally haven't tried zip lining or yeah. any of this sort of thing before, but can you tell me a little bit more about it if I wanted to try it, what to expect? Absolutely. So it's a guided adventure. Okay. You go with a group with two guides and up to eight participants. There are nine zip lines plus a little practice one. Wow. So you start out slow, you learn what you're doing, and it's an active participation tour where you're going to be doing your own braking. So we teach you how to slow yourself down. Cool and there's nine zip lines and they get bigger and higher and as you say faster and funner <laughs> as, as you go. So there's nine of those and up to about 900 feet long. Several of them are 900 feet and by the end you come to some beautiful open views. The presidential range, the Mount Washington Hotel. Awesome. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. I'm sure. We'll be right back on Explore the White Mountains.